Dr. Ahmed Hassan Zouail was a world-renowned Egyptian-American scientist who was a recipient of the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1999. In 2016, he tragically passed away, cementing his place in chemistry, being dubbed as the father of femtochemistry. Speaking of, let's discuss his most influential work. Femtochemistry is the study of chemical reactions that take place during incredibly brief durations on the scale of femtoseconds, which is one millionth of a billionth second. Using this knowledge, Dr. Zwill created the femtosecond spectroscopy, a rapid laser technique which brought the importance of being able to examine the actions of chemical bond formations, breaking and forming together, as well as seeing structural changes in atoms using light pulses that last only a few femtoseconds. Now, how does any of this relate to the course? Well, before the year 1990, chemistry students were taught that it was impossible to determine the exact atomic rearrangements at the moment they ruptured or bonded. The spectroscopy revolutionized the curriculum because we could examine ion transferring in ionic bonds and electron pair sharing in covalent bonds instantly. Also, by examining the chemical reactions with the spectroscopy, we can watch how the actual yield came into place and where our experimental errors took action, which relates to our class as we've been accounting for the yield of reactions that occur in stoichiometric problems, hint hint, wink wink. Dr. Zwale's achievements have helped us revolutionize our education, however, he didn't achieve this success that easily due to barriers he faced. Dr. Zwale once said that, quote, Egypt would not be able to provide the scientific atmosphere that I had enjoyed in the United States, end quote, referring to Egypt not being acknowledged for their chemistry at the time. This posed a barrier to his education, which is why he moved to the US where their work was more advanced. This paid off, as while he was a professor at Caltech, he had the equipment to develop the femtosecond spectroscopy. He faced another barrier to his career, which was that Egypt didn't offer high-paying jobs for chemistry like the US did, another factor in his immigration. Dr. Zawail's work has advanced our knowledge of chemistry even with the barriers he's faced. We owe him a great debt of thanks for his work in femtochemistry because, seriously, what can't that spectroscopy do? Congrats, you made it to the end of the video! Here's a quick shout out to our sources for helping us out.